In this programming example, we will make an inside thread milling through our workpiece. From our example part print, you will see that we already have a 1.8 minor diameter through hole established, and all that remains is the threads to be completed. In this operation, the CNC will perform a helical cutting path to form the desired threads. Our selected tool for this operation is a 1 inch diameter threading tool. From the main menu, press T followed by the number 4 and press cycle start. The axis should now move to the tool change position. The CNC will dwell and wait for you to finish the tool change. Once done, confirm the tool change is complete and press cycle start. The CNC now updates the active tool on screen and we can continue. From the main, select tapping key. Using the level key, go to the second level. Using our half key, toggle between inside threading or outside threading. In our case, we will select inside threading. Press enter to continue. X is our initial starting point on X axis. In our case, it is three. Press enter to continue. Y is our initial starting point on Y axis. In our case, it is minus three. Press enter to continue. ZS, this is your Z safety distance. This is the amount your tool will be above your starting point before beginning its operation. In this example, we will be using a value of 0 0.05. Press enter to continue. Z, this is the starting point on Z axis. In this example, we will be using a value of zero. Press enter to continue. P is our total depth. In this case, it is 1.2. Press enter to continue. The diameter symbol is our nominal thread diameter. In this case, it is two. Press enter to continue. K is our thread depth. In this case, it is 0.1. Press enter to continue. B is our thread pitch. In this case, it is also 0.1. Press enter to continue. DS is our ramp on and ramp off radius to and from the thread. In this case, we'll be using a value of 0.05. Press enter to continue. The value in this field must be entered in degrees. This is the angle of the thread entry point. In our case, we'll be using a zero angle or three o'clock position. This icon allows us to select the thread milling direction. Use the half key to toggle and select clockwise direction for right hand threading. This icon allows us to select the thread milling direction. Use the half key to thread from the surface to the bottom or thread from the bottom to the surface. In our case, we will thread from the surface to the bottom. Use the half key to select a single edge cutting tool for our operation. Use the half key to select coolant off. F, this is the feed rate. In this case, it is 20 inches per minute. S is the spindle RPM. We'll be running at 1000 RPMs. Using the half key, select clockwise spindle rotation. T is the tool we will be using for this operation. Type in four and press enter. D is the offset that we will be using for this operation. In this case, it is four. Press enter to continue. Delta is the amount of material we will be removing per pass. Type in 0.02 and press enter. This is the depth of cut for the final finished pass. Type in 0.015 and press enter. Let's confirm the cycle in 3D graphics so we can check for errors. Select the graphics icon key. Select type of graphics. Select 3D graphics. If necessary, press clear screen to remove any unwanted graphics currently on the screen. For safety reasons, turn down the feed rate to zero. Press cycle start. The CNC will now ask you to turn up the feed rate. The CNC will now simulate the cycle. If the graphics are too small, press display area and select optimum area. The CNC will then automatically adjust for best graphic view. Confirm that the cycle has finished with no errors. You are now ready to save or execute the cycle. To execute the cycle, press escape two times. You now see that there is a cycle start icon at the top of the screen. Turn down the feed rate to zero and press cycle start button to begin executing the cycle. This concludes the thread milling example. 
Please feel free to rewind, pause, or review any part of this video to improve your knowledge of the 8055i MC CNC control.